Hello and welcome. I am the Restless Kaiser. And I am Johnny B. But together we are Modeling for Advantage. So we've got here then, Johnny B. It looks like Strong Tune Dog. Strong Dog. So this is one of uh, Warlord's 2000 AD games. The moment I got two, but announced very recently, Slain is coming out soon. We've got Judge Dread, Strong Team Dog, 2008, um, and Slain coming soon. Oosh. Of those three settings, this was the one I was most interested yeah. in. That's cool. The good, the bad, and the mutey, sir. The good, the bad, and the mutey. Um, and partly was because I thought as a proposition of a starter set, because these are like related games, very similar, same system, I think, with slightly different unit cards and so forth. Is this has got this has got MDF scenery, and this is a heavy old box, isn't it? It is a chunk. I'm hoping it's MDF scenery anyway. Wait, that is a chunk. That is a chunk. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you want to tell them what's in the box? I can. That's lovely words and font there. Again, mm. very stylized. Right, starter box contains 112 page full color A4 softback rule book, mm. full size one. Uh, 12 page scenario booklet, uh, eight metal miniatures with 25 millimeter bases, Very nice. uh, two plastic token sprues. I wonder if they're the same. I'm sure. <laughs> they are. We got some. I don't know what there. Yeah. 36 game cards, six character cards, some laser cut MDF solar farm, and uh, two six sided dice. And eight 2080 combat 2008 dice. 2008 combat dice. So yeah, um, it, it wasn't just that it had the scenery while, while we're opening the box and having a look. It wasn't just that it came with scenery. It's that I felt the Judge Dread, from what I remember of Judge Dread, it's all in like, is it called Mega City 1? Most of it's in the city. Mega City 1, Block War, you know. You block Wars. But these blocks are like, go to the moon, right, in terms of height. Yeah. Where this is like... Whereas this waste. is out in the wilderness. Yeah. So Judge Dread is kind of either indoors or on streets with colossally high buildings. Yeah. And, and, that, and that just... As a war games table, I wasn't For sure I could do that justice. Purposes, yeah, the, modeling a, a mega city block, a bit of is, mega city, yeah. or playing indoors, just felt like I don't have anything even remotely like this. Whereas, because the Team dogs are the, it's like the nickname for bounty hunters, isn't it? I think so. In this case, they're yeah. like out in the wilderness. It's like, well, we've got desert boards and we just need some sci-fi-ish looking junk scenery. How convenient! <laughs> yeah, we can do this. <laughs> that, that was that was the thinking. Uh, that new box. The lid's okay, lid's okay. Right. Not a very mm, interesting it's not very vintage, pungent but yeah, box. it's alright, it'll do. So the starter set, and we used to see starter sets with an awful lot of miniatures in, and that's not what we've got in here. No. This is a skirmish game with a handful of miniatures. It's, very it's, small skirmish. It's heavy, but... Because it's got a lot of a lot of stuff in to yes. play with. Um, so, we'll come to the miniatures in a minute. Naturally. Thank um, you, Morella. <laughs> Just packed by Morella. Yeah, I don't have that. On, I don't have that on top. I'm disappointed. So um, pick, pick, pick all the gubbins. Piece, John. Look, you get bases. Isn't you do. that great? You get Ten of the lip. I like the lip bases. So especially yeah. with metal miniatures because, because you've got a little... footprint. So that little indent. By the time you put your basing material on, to... you're a lot closer yeah, to being agreed, level. Agreed. Agreed. Your dude's not stood on a mound. Yeah, which is annoying. Which I is normally it? spend far too much time cutting those bits off. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, going on to the other gubbins, we have the uh, tokens. You see the tokens. So you get these in two different colours. We two have green, yeah, black red and red. black. Is that any sort of? Is there any reason to that? Just so you know whose players. I'm yours and mine. I think. Yeah, yours and mine. You got yep. loads of tokens on there, of which I have no context. Wound markers, on. numbers, tokens. I mean, when you play the game, you'll know what the tokens mean. What I do know is, yeah, that one of the mechanics that I have come across is your activation tokens. It's in, so, like in bolt action, you pull out a dice. You got a black one, you got a red one. Mm. Says your tenant is. It's there's more to it than that. And that'll be why there's two colours. Your tokens, my tokens. Yeah, it is really. You need two colours to play. <laughs> so these 2000 AD discs yep. here, they're, they're an alternative to this. So they're not order dice, they're activation tokens. But the ones with stars are for heroes, because heroes can put their chit back in the bag. They can put their what back in the bag? They can put their chit. Chit. Chit back the in the chit bag. chit can go back in the bag. It's like one of the actions they can form. Roll a dice if you're lucky, it goes oh, back so in the bag. Function. Yeah, okay. yeah. So your Judge Dreads and your Johnny Alphas of this world can really go mental if the dice fall Sweet. The, that's way what you that, want. the way that they want to. So that's that's those two. That's why the tokens are slightly uh, different. What else? 
Looks like we get a whole stack of cards here. Very nice. It's like yeah. a... Yeah. It's, it's like, like 2000 AD. 2000 AD comic <laughs> yeah. with some yeah. rules text. Absolutely. Um, and, and they've obviously... So what are you looking at now? Are you looking at the armoury? Are you looking at... No. Uh, Look at the chicanery deck. Chicanery deck. Chicanery deck. Okay, so these must be like random events or something. Oh, let's, have a, let's have a look at this. Oh, God. Oh, uh, oh, oh. Ooh. So these are, these, are, these are nice cards. And from what I'm looking at, these, these have got a nice... They've got a strong flavour. Oh, wow. Yeah. This is like proper... Straight out the... Mate, check this one out. <laughs> Bad rep, cool as a cucumber, mate. Is cool as a card. cucumber. One model can make an immediate charge action. If he has the brawl rule, it may reroll misses during the attack. That's what the rah does. That okay. cover Adrenaline says so bad cool. rep, disarm. Yeah. Are they all yeah. chicanery? Yeah. Kill it in So you get a deck of chicanery. So you got a deck, a deck of chicanery, which is really going to mix up the, the order of play. Hopefully. And then the armory deck. Let's have a look then. At the other one then. Same again. Lovely artwork. Yeah, lo love this. I can't get them out so of the bags is... without breaking them. I'm sorry. Can you not? No. Ah, uh, well. I broke them. The bags, that is. Hey! 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 So, yeah, again, whether these may be, you know, these, rather than being new, I suspect these are actually from yeah. 2000 AD. Yeah. Because there's a huge amount of 2000 AD comic out there. <laughs> Electro Flare! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that's just a really nice flavour to, to yeah, cards yeah. There. What co sort of crazy stuff? We've got Electro Flare, we just saw Force Fields, awesome. I'm just looking at random ones. Number three cartridge, sweet. Small Nuke! Small Happy Nuke! Days. <laughs> so Gas Bomb, Jetpack, <laughs> Medipack, number three cartridge, number four cartridge. Oh yeah. Is there any points and stuff on here? I'm not seeing anything. I'm just seeing like, little um, equipment. Like a, a gun. Oh, so you think it might symbol. be like draw three equipment cards? Yeah. Yeah. You get the tracer beam and I get the small nuke. Some Let's see who wins. <laughs> <laughs> I like this game already. Because it's got that post apocalyptic setting, yeah. ain't you? Yeah. You really got that um, sense of sense of imbalance. Right. Um, and then you've got Let's unit cards. cards. So these Let's are. Let's have a little look at these. We're just, we're just showing you these that we've not we don't played need to the go game. In there. I'll just um, get a feel for it. Yeah, absolutely. So okay, then, so what we got here? Johnny Alpha. Yeah. Oh, when we play, it'd be Johnny, Johnny Beta. Johnny Beta. It'd be Johnny Beta over there. Gunfighter. Okay. So mm. you've got all the stats it looks like you need to play the game, and there's a fair few on there. So the, the good guy team is Johnny Alpha, Wolf Sternhammer, I think he's his mate. <gasps> and he's a bit of a like berserker, wild man type dude. Yeah. And then Gronk. Gronk! Which is yeah. a bit like Strunk. But not. No, no. The gr the, the Gronk is, is one gronk? of those uh, furry, you know, sidekicks. Um, and then the gang of villains, Max Bobber. He's the one with a potato head. <laughs> is that the potato head guy? In Potato Jones, he's got you know disease. <laughs> Stoll and Brute Mosley. Who's yeah. Stoll? Very nice. I've got different ones then, am I? Or are they double sided? They're double sided. They're double sided. They're I was looking at the sided. other side. Max Bubba. Oh, Max Bubba is, is the hero, so he single sided. So then you've got Skull, who's got Brute mostly on the other side. And in yes. <laughs> Tiger right. Jones with low down. Okay. Right, so these are these all cool double sided. Yes, yeah, so the heroes are double sided. So they have, diff they have more information. So Alpha, yeah. Yeah, so you get three oh, good guys. Oh, because this side is not stats. The, this side is, is fluff. Fluff and bits. They've got a fluff side and then a stat side. Whereas the... I do get the skills there, so that's good. Whereas the goons just have stats on yep. a tiny bit of fluff. Yep. Sweet. Right, okay. That's nice. That's, that's nice. That's cool, Matt. All right. Uh, that's that. Proprietary dice. Nice. 2000 AD dice. And a splody. And um, a shield. So this has got explosion. To the words 2000 AD and the, yeah, the Judge Red Shield, isn't it? Sweet. Two cracker dice. Nice. <laughs> Two cracker dice, mate. Yeah. Uh, Full size a rule book. Have a look. Uh, Scenarios. That's, yeah, that's not the rule book. Scenario booklet. Mm, what we got potato here? Potato head. Cool. So cool. hopefully this has got to, like, play your first game like this. Has it? Scenario one. 
the good. Come on, one more. No. Have an introduction and then you're straight in. Scenario one. Scenario one. But these use, these the maps that they've laid out here, use the scenery that you have and have a deployment zone on. Because yep. they know exactly what scenery you've yeah, got. They're telling you, they put it there <laughs> and deploy here, which is which is quite good. I, I like an introductory scenario booklet. It gets you going in a starter set. Yeah, yeah. Like, love me a starter set. Sweet. And then this, really nice. It's like the um, SPQR softback. It's got that plasticated book feel. <laughs> oh, mate, smell those carcinogens. <laughs> Look at that picture. That, Whoa. That, that is what Harry would describe as a low-rent sex doll face. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think it is. <laughs> yes. It is literally a goon with a knee. That's mental. So he's a mutant. mutant. He's a mutant. They're all mutants, aren't and they? And his actual face is on his knee. And he's put this on to make it look like he's got a head. <laughs> but he doesn't actually have a head. He's got a face, but not a head. That's epic. I love that. <laughs> the name's Kid Knee. <laughs> Kid Knee. Mate, you, you get to re relive these great 2080 corny. Taking you all in, dead or alive. Mm. Oh, that's really cool. Okay. Again, blubber lips. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Mave the many arms. There's, it, this looks like it could be a really fun game, just from just, just saying the character names. Just from names. saying the character <laughs> names, playing the chicanery cards. I, I mean, I, I really hope so. Because oh. um, 2000 AD is very much a teenager thing, yeah. isn't it? The, the bit in us that are still, like, you know, 13 and... and you mean the you know, bit? <laughs> <laughs> the entirety of us, which is like that. Yeah. Okay, cool. It's got the things. We're not going to go too deep so, into No, this. but um, a, a bit like the, uh, I would say, like the SPQR rule set is a lot of a lot of this book is kind of fluff campaign stats for... So like in um, the Rogues Gallery, you've got a lot more in here than just Johnny Alpha. So Kid, Kid Me, that guy you mentioned... Is he a good guy? He's Well, he's... Oh, anyway, yeah. He's, a, um, he's one of the SD agents, whether he's a good guy that's a yeah. question of perception really um but yeah he's he's part of you know the uh the the crime fighting gang wow uh but yeah ha half of the book seems to be you know scenarios and character sheets mate you, you've which... got me there's a guy called slab head on <laughs> yeah mate i, I think I th and that's what i want from this is i want the 2000 ad yeah. experience i sort of saw saw the judge Dredd. judge Dredd was never really my thing i was more i'm onto rogue yeah. trooper rogue and trooper. so forth like oh. the, the, the whole mutant thing yeah although i did like the crocodiles yeah. Because they're just ridiculous. They're yeah. just stupid. <laughs> which is why which is why I want them. Which is I don't know whether they've got stats in here, but I believe the stats are comparable across the system. I can't because no, I've Gronk just got the or Gronk something. in my head. Gronk. No, it's that's not the that. Gronk. That's the little furry fluffy. That's the little furby, yeah. And then as I say, they made this really stand out. Is you get this uh, strontium dog scenery set. This makes it a proper starter set, right? Yes, absolutely. Um, and that's, that's I think... So I think sometimes with, um, with new games, I find new games with a holistic, if you will, if you will starter set, significantly more attractive. Mm. So it is what I need to play this game all in this box. Yep. And I mean, I mean down, to, down to the dice, Everything. the tokens. When I buy a rule set and you start playing it and you realise you need, you need to start getting the poker chips out and so forth. Like, why didn't you print me something that said these words on? I'm glad you said that. You know the one thing that is missing? Playmat. A playmat. Two, a measuring device. Warlord renownedly put their little uh, in, yeah, in, there there in is, the box lids. There is, I, I, I think they probably, you know, no, but they've done a really good job it is beautiful. of making yeah, use. This is where they give you a cardboard ruler in some of their other sets. But there's other than a other than a play mat and a ruler, you you you're ready to, to go. go. You're ready to go with this. Um, I so I don't 
I'm not so bothered about playing that in this one because I don't think this is a game for kids. I think this is a game for grown-ass men who used yeah, to be kids yeah. when 2000 AD was yeah. big. I don't know whether new kids, it, it doesn't mean niche. anything too, to them. Yeah. yeah, this is proper geeky. This is yeah. watching Eraser Ed, you I know, know what that is. whatever. They, they, they're not... It's not part of their experience. Um, but yeah, a nice bit of scenery. And fairly fairly universal for kind of yeah. wasteland post-apocalypse stuff. Yeah. You know, um, Project Z is another one that we're looking at. So again, I'm sure we can use this. For sure. You get a few dumpsters and some rusty trash cans and stuff. Like, this this stuff go. is ready, you know? It's oven ready, uh, oven ready, if you will. Case. So the last thing to look at, which is most probably the most important part, well, or is it? And I don't know the characters, so Hand it's for harder for me. Yeah, but we can just enjoy them. We can in we can enjoy them glory. for what they are. So it says there are eight miniatures in here. So you get Captain Ratface, and you get <laughs> what we're we looking at here. The mutants look like mutants, which is cool. There's a dude that literally has no body. He is a head on a pair of legs. A head on a pair of legs. Which, looking at the cards, he's... I was going to say... Low you down to... of fee. In Tiger Jones. Yeah, quality of model. Metal, nice. Not too much cleanup, Which, again, is nice. Mr. Potato Head, oh, he's cool. Now I see. I thought it was just small. No, no, no. He's, he's just, like he's like seventy percent legs, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's no and he's torso. called low down the feet. Yeah. Oh my days! Yeah, all the joys. His bum is near his head. Fact. <laughs> mm -hmm. Of course, you get Johnny. He's a mutant henchman. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you got the you got the Johnny Alpha miniature uh, with the twin blasters and like. Pew, pew, pew. So what? there you go. Now, wasn't that what was it about Johnny Alpha's? Hasn't he got a funny gun? Does he like make you poop yourself or something? What? How ridiculous is his gun? Variable cartridge blaster. Mm. Maybe not. Maybe not. I mean, it, it, it's it's got unique stats, but I, th I thought it had a. I thought there was something like I mean, he is psychic and he does have weird eyes. Weird eyes. <laughs> that's his mutation. <laughs> Who, Johnny Alpha? Yeah. All right, so that's that's those two. What have we got next? Um, sorry, that eyes? was Alpha and Ofei. The Gronk, man. Look at the Gronk. The Gronk. It's the weirdest little Muppet thing I've ever seen. It's got four arms. It's carrying a briefcase. I yeah. have no idea. It's obviously some sort of... Or something of radioactive. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, it's a healing pack. Is it? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. In that way that you can be radiated back to health. Right? Nice. Yeah, just <laughs> it. slurp this drink. Yeah, um, absolutely. The so he's funny. He's obviously some sort of comedic device for it. You got his buddy, Sternhammer. Yeah, Wolf. He looks beastly. Wolf Sternhammer. He's showing you his, his Viking search and destroy. He, he's showing you his like warrant. So, like, yeah. I'm coming to get you, bro. With my big on hammer the, on the list. What do you think of the quality of miniatures here? I think they're good, and if the if the game art is anything to go by, these look like fairly like good uh, stylized miniatures yeah, in themselves. Absolutely. So you've got Sternhammer, and then you've got obviously the bunch of villains. Villains, which I'm sure there's a still somewhere. Yep. Yeah, so again, uh, we'll we'll get these up for you to have a look at the stills. But we've got what were the names of them? What's this like? Weird rat dog pig faced guy. The weird rat dog pig faced guy. I've got a skull, I can see him. Oh, he's called Brute is... Mosley. Brute Mosley. That's his name. You actually get pictures of the miniature on there as well. Brute Mosley. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I can use those. Hmm. Brute Mosley and but Skull is the guy skull. with the pistol. But it's all about Max Bubba, Mr. Potato Head. It, yeah, it is all about Max Bubba. He's the he's the hero dude. He's the, the hero villain. Bad hero. Yeah. Max Bubba is quick on the trigger and may get a chance to shoot back at attackers. See page twenty one of the rule book for full gunfighter rules. Mm. There you go. Known associates in Potato Jones, Brute Mosley, low down O Fee. And skull. Interestingly, the other four models you get. That's yeah, what a surprise. There you go. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, John. So those are the those are the miniatures. Really pleased with the with those. You know, 
every one of these miniatures is very different. Uh, very heavily, very heavily stylized. Any criticisms of the set? I mean, we have we haven't played the game. Yeah, there's, we there's can't no criticize. You know, it's, it's difficult to say much difficult. about the game without having played it. Um, but I'm very excited to play it. Yeah, it sounds like a lot of fun from a glance. Um, you know, any criticisms? I don't have any to to bring to to the table really. In, so I would say that these being double sided is a little bit cheap. Fair dues, especially if you've got the. But we don't know if you have all of them in the scenarios. We don't have all, three, all of the guys. Is it three dudes versus three dudes? May, maybe. I still feel they could have put them on separate cards. Yeah, they could have. Because um, you need to remember which one's on the back of the one that you're looking at. And I feel during the game, <laughs> yeah, that would be like knowing us, there's going to be a little bit of that. Um, this isn't aimed at total rookies, so I'm, I'm perfectly sort of happy that the, there's not a play mat in here. I don't think there needs to be one in here. Yeah. You got in desert scenery. Got You've got your device. bit of scenery that brings that brings it together. Bases, nice distinctive miniatures, play cards. These are really handy when you're getting started, especially when every model is really different. Yeah, yeah. And the fact that the models are so different. So one of the issues with skirmish games is you want to give the models unique stats, but if it's just Russian riflemen, yeah. How do we know which Russian rifleman who is, is, is this one or this one or this one? Without a distinctive. So with this really comic miniature. book style, yeah. they all look really different. And they can all be radically different which in performance. Good. Which is one of the things that you get out of playing a really small game yeah. like that. I say, very excited. What am I going to do with this set? Well, I'm going to send it over to Callum. I'm going to send oh. two copies to Callum. Callum. He's going to paint it up. And when he get when one he gets back. It back but I'm saying that that was my original plan. I don't know, Johnny. You like I want to get these home and paint them there. No, because even if I did say that, it would never. They would. They would just Callum go to the, is a reliable go to the soul, so. Callum is a reliable young man. All right, guys. That was our look at 2000 AD. I, 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 I'm really positive about this. Oh, it looks I hope they do Rogue Trooper one day. Oh, really please, Rogue Trooper, mate. If you're listening, Stallard, Rogue Trooper. Make it so. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. bye. If you're interested in the 2000 AD series, we do have Strontium Dog available on our website, modelingforadvantage.co.uk. Thank you for watching. Very, very different, but they're all 2000 AD shows. Chinese spy phone, it's not damn it. Chinese spy phone? <clears throat> Hopefully the video was still on. The, the picture, the cam, the, you know, the camera's on as the... Oh, fuck off! <laughs> it's still going! Hello, dickhead!